Hi and welcome to today's video. I'm Elvira Boulet from the Dimitrov Boulet Piano Duo. Today I'm going to give you a really quick and easy exercise that will help you firstly improve your sight reading or prima vista as we also call it and secondly it will also help you play less wrong notes. So if that's something that you would like to achieve, then keep on watching. Before we begin, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also, if you're a regular watcher, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. The exercise is really simple and you can easily incorporate it in your daily practice. So what you're going to do is you're going to put an alarm. So whatever you want to use to put the alarm, I'm going to use my phone and you're going to pick a random time and you're going to set an alarm. Now, if your practice is only 15 minutes, don't set your alarm for 20 minutes or anything above 15 minutes because that will ruin the exercise. Make sure that your alarm goes off within the time frame of your practice. I just set my timer on three minutes and I'm gonna put it aside, I'm going to forget about it and then I'm going to just practice like I would normally do. stop and not lift your hands from the keyboard. You're going to make sure that you keep those keys pressed. Find whatever way you can to turn off your alarm with your nose or just, you know, ignore the sound. Put it on vibrate. I don't care. Just make sure that those hands do not leave the keyboard, that your, your fingers keep the keys pressed. Uh, then after that, make sure that they're, after you made sure they're still on the keyboard exactly where they were when the alarm went off, you're going to close your eyes and you're going to name every note that all your fingers are on. So if you start with the right hand, just start with the pinky and say, okay, so my pinky is on the G sharp, my fourth finger is on the F, my third finger is on the E, second finger is on the E flat, and the first finger is on the B. Now, I know this and I know this, let's say nine times out of 10, but sometimes I'm not aware actually of where I am on the keyboard and that's, how I can very easily play a wrong note. If I think that I'm somewhere else, for example, if I think that my pinky is on the F sharp, I'm gonna play a wrong note because I'm not aware of where I am. Being aware of where you are at any given time on the keyboard is incredibly important. It gives you a connection with the keyboard. It helps you when you need to take a look at the score, when you're unable to look at your hands. Okay, so now you continue with the left hand. For example, my left hand, because I've been talking a while, I'm actually not as aware of where my left hand is. So that's actually interesting. Um, I'm gonna guess that my first, so I'm not sure to be honest, I'm gonna guess that my first finger is on the G. So we'll see if that's correct. Um, second finger on C sharp, third finger on C, fourth finger on B, fifth finger on A. So I'm very curious, I'm gonna check. No, it was on F. <laughs> so you see, this is exactly, uh, how it is possible, of course, if you if you keep on talking, you're not very aware of where you are, that's very normal. But if you think that you're on the G, you're actually on the F, you're gonna play a wrong note. So this is the exercise. You just set an alarm, you start your practice, and whenever the alarm goes off, just make sure that your first instinct isn't to, to take away those hands. Make sure you keep on pressing those keys and you don't move, um, you close your eyes, and you do it hand by hand, finger by finger, and after you've named all the fingers, just check to see if you were correct. And this is something you can so easily do every single day. It will improve your awareness of where you are at the keyboard, it will improve your connection to the keyboard, and it will help with tons of things, especially, uh, especially preventing wrong notes and especially helping with your prima vista. Because when you do prima vista, when you're sight reading, you actually have to look a lot at the score. So if you don't know where the hands are, you're gonna play a lot of wrong notes. Also, one more tip, make sure to always switch up the alarm times. Don't put it every time for three minutes. Our brains do tend to get used to things. So if they're used to your alarm going off every, every time at the same time, you might that might not work uh, as well as if you keep it totally random. So let's do it one more time. And I'm not gonna talk this time. I'm gonna see if this works better for me. Okay, I'm gonna put it on uh, one minute this time. Okay, my alarm just went. I put it on my uh, uh, I put it on my watch this time, which is a lot easier because I don't have to turn the alarm off. It just gives two vibrations and it's off. So it's a lot more pleasant uh, to do it that way. Okay, I'm going to do it now quickly without too much talking. 
C, B, A, so a pinky on C, fourth finger on B, third finger on A, second finger on G, first finger on F, um, C, B flat, sorry, first finger on of the left hand, C, second finger on B flat, third finger on A flat, fourth finger on G, and fifth finger on F. Right this time. So one more tip, don't start talking while you do the exercise. Okay, that was all for today. I really hope that you enjoyed. I also hope that you'll give the exercise a try and if you do so, please leave us a comment below. Now don't forget to subscribe, like, and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It was a pleasure to record and see you next time.